Hey guys, it's going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to walk you through my drawing implementation with hand tracking and Oculus and I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to show you to start two demos of the latest changes that I made to the code and we're going to be looking at the code for the most part today. So the first thing that I'm going to do, let me go ahead and change the view here. Let's look at demo one. So I'm drawing and I finish the code to detect when I am basically releasing the pinch and as soon as I release a pinch I am creating a new line render I'm also doing the same thing for each hand so as you can see um, I actually draw so let me go back to that so I draw the word hola and it's not a hundred percent accurate I think the hand tracking is a little jittery but I think it's it's going to be improving so let's just keep watching the video and I'll show you so here I'm trying just you know different shapes I'm gonna try to draw a house and I'm trying to be as accurate as I can and I'm not to be honest I'm not an artist so I'm doing my best to to make sure that I can draw a little house and then you know a little bit of smoke on the top of the house and then if we look at demo 2 demo 2 is also similar to the other one except I'm just making circles and then I want to see how precise this is and I have my hands pointing towards me and the pinch is you know it's getting detected this case I'm going in the opposite direction and then I'm drawing you know from the back and close to me so let's go ahead and take a look at the code and then we'll you know you'll be able to do something similar to this or probably even better so I show you some of these components on the previous video so make sure that you watch it so that you understand how this is set up what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna focus on VR draw which is the implementation that I have for drawing so to start, I have a class which is called, of course, it's called VR Draw. I also have an enum to determine if this is going to be for the left hand or the right hand. The reason why I have that is because I create line renders, and then as I create a line render, I assign the the name of the line render. It's going to be a specific based on the enum that is selected. So on the VR Draw implementation, I have a couple of well, I have a lot of options, but to start, I start with the enum that I show you above. Just I set it to left to be the default. Then I have a game object that I use to track movement. So in this case, it's going to be either the bone that I track for the left hand or the bone that I track for the right hand. The next thing that I track is also the previous point distance. The reason why I do this is because I need to calculate the previous point distance versus the, the new point distance. And if the if those two are greater than the minimum, which is the one that I have set up here, then I create a new point in the line render that I have created. I also have a minimum finger pinch strength. So what this is, is it depends on how, what Oculus is sending me. So if Oculus tells me that the pinch is above, you know, above or equal to 0 0.5, then I know that I need to start drawing. So that's what I'm using this. I'm actually gonna move this up because this is more related to the previous point distance than you know than anything else and i'm gonna do let's go ahead and do this let's move the private one here that is not exposed and then i'm gonna move that one over there so the next piece that i have is the you know the string that i just explained to you just to detect at what point do i draw the i also have a line default width so i started it at 0 0.010 and then i have a slider as well that goes from 0 to 1. I also track all the position counts because we are creating a line render. The line render is made out of points and those points are vector three. So I need to keep track of how many points I am creating because the line render will have to know about those. I also keep track of all my line renders that I created because I can dispose them. I haven't implemented this yet, but for now I just know that I am adding every line render that I create to this list. And then at some point I'm gonna have a way to clear them out. I've been doing many implementations, so I, you know, for now this is just getting created, but I'm, I'm going to be destroying them at some point. Then I also keep track of the current line render, and then and I'll show you why I do that. Also the default color, I set it to white to def to be the default. And this is so if I want to debug it in the editor, I just have another game object that is for the editor. If I allow editor controls. This is gonna be a future. I implemented this in VR Draw. If you haven't looked at that repo, make sure that I'll just show you that really quick. If you go to GitHub and then Delmar V VR Draw, you can look at this implementation. This implementation doesn't have 
hand drawing is all drawing you know is using the controller but it's gonna be similar on the options of what I'm doing right now except this is gonna be for hands then the next thing that I do is I also have a default material the material that I'm gonna use for the line render also a public actually a private variable for to determine if I'm pinching down I, I use this because I want to know as soon as I touch as soon as I'm doing a pinch not touch I'm doing a pinch I detect okay did I start you know I start pitching pinching down and as soon as I release that pinch I know that I'm not pinching down anymore so this is when we put our fingers you know when we're pinching like in this case right here where where my hand is about there we go right there so that's when I detect that then I have a couple of oculus types that I use and that's what I put a region in here because everything related to oculus is going to be here so I have a reference for the OVR hand I have a reference for the OVR skeleton and also the OVR bone that I that I'm using to to track. The OVR skeleton is is useful because it's going to allow you to to query the hand skeleton to get information about the bones. So and you're gonna see how that is done down here. So on the awake method, I get a reference to the OVR hand. I also get a reference to the OVR skeleton. This is for you know Unity purposes, Unity editor debugging purposes I'm not gonna go through that and then the first thing that I do I get the bone that I need to track so the bone that I need to track in this case is gonna be the hand index one I could make this an option as a you know as a serialized serializable option for now I'm just gonna leave it like that and then at some point in the future we can add an option to to tell the system what finger we want to use for drawing I think the index finger is going to be Great, but if you wanted to use another finger, you can do that as well. And then, of course, I create a new line render on the on this method as soon as as soon as the awake method gets executed. Create a game object. I set the parent. I set the position. I also add the line render to the get up game object. I set the default width. I tell it to use world space. I also set the initial position count, and I also set the position count of the variable that I have above to zero. And then I basically set the new line render to the current line render, and then I add it to my list of lines. The, the next piece is really important because I, I want to make sure that this is set. So if for whatever reason the bones were in, initialized, and this is something that I haven't, I haven't really tested very well, but if for some reason we couldn't get the bone here, I'm going to check, okay, if the bone to track hasn't been set, I'm going to try to get it again. So otherwise it's just going to go here and it's gonna start checking for the pinch state. So now, how do I determine if the if we're pinching with our hand? And Oculus has re this really cool method. It's actually really easy to do. So I use the OVR hand get finger is pinching. I pass in the finger that I want to detect, and then which in this case is going to be the index. And I also need to determine what the p the finger pinch string is. So I call this other method, which gives me the, the string of the pinch with the finger that I pass in. So just keep in mind that this is an enum, so you can pass in, you know, if you want to use a different finger, you can use the middle finger, the pinky, the ring, and also the thumb. So the next thing that I do is I say, okay, if I'm pinching and the string is, you know, is equal or greater than the minimum that I set on my serializable, serializable fields, then I know that I need to update the line. Otherwise I say, you know, otherwise I know that I need to create a new line render. So at this point, I know, if I get to this point, I know that I'm not, you know, pinching down is equal to false. And so this is going to be, by, by default, it's going to be set to false because as soon as I get in here, I'm going to be updating the line. As soon as I let go of the, the pinching, I'm going to fall into an else. Is pinching down, it's not going to be equal to true. So then what I'm going to say is, okay, so if this is false, I'm going to set it to true here. I'm going to create a new line render. Then I'm gonna say is pinching down equal true. That way I don't, you know, I don't keep creating. It's kind of like a release. So I release of a button. Then I know that the, you know, that that state of the pinch completed, and then I can keep. So it, what's gonna happen is as soon as you start the pinch, we're gonna be updating. When you, you know, when you let go of that pinch, I'm going to create a new, li new line render. So the update line is pretty simple. All I do is I say okay, the previous distance is null. I track the previous distance of the object that I'm tracking, in this case is going to be our bone. And then I say, okay, if the previous point distance is not null, and our distance between the previous point and the position of the object to track point transfer position 
is greater than the minimum distance before the new point, then I know that I'm within the threshold that I set on the private variables. And then the next thing that I do is I get the direction, I get the preview, the new previous point distance, which is going to be now the new point, and then I add the new point. The add new point is pretty simple. I just you know pass in the position count, the position that I use, you know, that I just track, I increment the position count. I also increment the position count here. So this one is gonna be the variable above. This one is gonna be on the actual end render. And then I just basically set that position. I have some of these methods that I'm not using right now, but I'm gonna be using them next. This is gonna allow me to update the line width. This one is gonna allow me to update the line color. And lastly, this one is going to allow me to update the line minimum distance. This is helpful because let's say that you want to draw a straight line. So if the number of the minimum distance before a new point is greater than, let's say we do one meter, and what's gonna happen, it's, it's gonna be a straight line if I, if the number is, is greater. If you do it, a lower number, it's gonna draw many, many, many points, and it's just gonna be, you know, it's gonna be giving you a more of a smooth line. So that's basically all the code. I also have some options that I'm going to be adding. I have it in, in, in my other repository, which is in VR Draw. And you can look at those options by going into scripts. You can also go into VR controller option. Actually, it's VR controller options pro. And this is going to give you kind of like an overview of some of the options that I'm going to be adding to the hand tracking as well. So if you wanted to select, you know, a color, you can select the color. If you wanted to change the language, you can change the language. So this is more in depth because I, I haven't added those features to the hand tracking drawing implementation, but I'm gonna be doing that next. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. And please make sure that you subscribe to the channel because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Thank you very much, guys.